a couple of subscribers. What are your names again? Sean. Elias. And they're up here in the Narrows and you're carrying chairs. <laughs> Their favorite chairs. <laughs> they don't want to take a break without them. Yeah. I get separation anxiety if I if I leave my chair alone for too long. I just can't ever <laughs> it. The most luxurious camping chairs you'll find out here. <laughs> Teakwood chairs. <laughs> Freshly can... oiled. We're in the narrows. There's an old Indian camp not far from this spot. I don't show it because I don't want it graffitied up. But yeah, it has a grinding hole for acorns. This was one of the many stops of the native tribe. So with my REI points this time around, I only have about under 18 bucks, 17 change. Didn't spend too much last year because I was unemployed. But uh, I took those points and if you hold on to those points for one month, they always give a 20% off one item. Well, this was on discount anyway. It was a $100 pack, I think, or $90 pack. Discounted 79 or 89. And then my $17 and 20% off, I ended up paying, I think 36 bucks or something like that for this pack. Clear Creek 25, Mountain Hardware. It's got everything I need. It's uh, 15 pounds on the nose. No water. I've got an endless supply of water right here. I just drink right out of the river. The only reason I have a canteen is so I put them in the canteen, take it up with me for the night in case I camp away from the river. But I got my tripod. 
and little bottles of oil, cooking oil. And then uh, back here, it was cold this morning, just a flannel. I have an MRE in here, and I have my penfishingrods.com, which I'm going to break out right now. Um, MRE, tripod, canteen. There is no hip belt. There is a little tiny one, but I just, I don't use it. I didn't use it. And in the back here, I've got, um, let's see, fly wallet, my glasses, leash, uh, whatever you call it, uh, fly rod, fly reel, tippet material, and floats, and they float, nothing else in there. In here, Sasquatch bandana. My keys, my phone, my fishing license, glasses, uh, a bug, a bug thing making noise. It works great towards night. These are for, I didn't bring a Sawyer, I just brought the water tablets. Penfishingrods.com tackle box. Everything you could possibly need to pull almost any any southern california freshwater fish out fire striker fire starter swiss army knife i believe that's it for that in here oh okay that other one's a purification tablet this is the one for the Get rid of the chlorine taste. Come and set. In here, I'm not gonna take everything out, but I'm gonna show you what it is. I've got breakfast for tomorrow, spam and eggs, some coffees, some drink mixes. There's also a drink mix and a coffee in the MRE. I've got some strap for my head, strap for my chest for filming. I've got a fry pan, I've got, I'll show more of this. I've got a fry pan, I've got my lights, I've got my Tyvek, I've got a sleeping bag, I've got a bivy. I've got, um, what's this? Oh, my, my fishing reel. I'll be using that now. Penfishingrods.com, Goliath. I got a cup. Like I said, I got the bivy. A sleeping pad, which is a, uh, this time Thermarest half pad. Hygiene. That's about it. So I'm put this stuff back in, set my rod up, do a little fishing, try to catch dinner, and establish a camp somewhere between here and the next click or two. Most people that subscribe to me are familiar with penfishingrods.com, but if you're not, it's a great little backpacking rod. Um, this is my original Goliath. It's never snapped. Everybody says, oh, you can get them for $5. Yeah, you can get that cheap Chinese knockoff for 5 bucks." but these are great. As long as you don't go using it like a lightsaber, take care of it, it will take care of you. This is literally put thousands of fish in my hands. On one, on one day, one video, it put 101 trout. Catch and release. I kept, I kept five. 101 trout on this. And the Mineral King up at the, uh, oh, Franklin Lakes, I believe it was. And that's paired up with penfishingrods.com, the Goliath, the RMX-15, rear drag, quick release spool. The foot on these are smaller. You can get one of these that's called the Backpacker 6x2 model, and that will hold a regular reel, but his reels are great too. Um, I'll put this together. This is a little over four foot, and this is, I caught, I caught uh, tilapia on the Sea of Galilee in Israel on this rod and reel. Let me put it together and show you what it looks like. Link in the detail. Going with a, by the way, I've got two pound line on this. 
If I remember right, it's trilene this time around. I had Maxima last time. I prefer the Maxima. I had a school left, so I'm going with a Panther Martin. Yeah, hook up. Little sucker. This is Michael. I met him up by the bridge, Hi. and uh, he was out of commission. His legs. I don't know if you. It's happened to me before. It's weird. You get to a certain area and you go to use your legs, and they don't work. You've just you've drained everything. And uh, he was out. I carried his pack for him for a while, and we're, we're going slow. I don't think we're gonna make it out of here by dark. But change of plans, I think. Hey, get this guy out of here. Thank you. Another another random guy helped him out. He gave you a what? He gave you an orange, huh? Yes. Give him an orange. I I pumped him full of ibuprofen. <laughs> he rested for a while. Getting past that one narrow part uh, where people freak out by the bridge. 
He was out for a while there. <laughs> the water help. I think it was just a combination of not drinking enough, not eating enough, and uh, overexertion. But it sucks to be back here by yourself and no one help, no one offer any help. What can you do it now? Besides that, um, I don't know. It's just, I think, I don't know. I was missing my, my dad passed recently and I don't know. Every, every cast I was making was reminding me of stuff he'd say when I casted and things and little corrections and teaching. And it was, it was hard. But then, uh, I was in the right place. He was in the right place. He was in the wrong place at the right time. I was in the right place at the wrong time. Something like that. But I'm gonna take him back to Jay's camp. Have him rest in one of the chairs and make some make some food. Get him back on his feet. Literally. Show you where we are. Got him back. The swan rock. The swan rock right there. See the body and the neck and the head. So what were you feeling in your legs? Um, regular cramps. Um, they just failed to work, huh? Yeah, pretty much. Like, you know, when like that, like, like <laughs> that. Um, when I was a kid, we used to call it going pains. Yeah, so it's when your legs, like, muscles are all cramped up and everything like yeah. that, and you can't move. Oh, that was scary, very scary. And then he came along. Yeah, I got my MRE going and the, the beef's in there, the main thing, and the tortillas are in there warming up with it. I also had these cookies. I gave two oatmeal cookies away to some guys who needed them. And I got this fruit crunch brewing right now. Then I got my Smarties and my, my coffee and everything. I'll have that later. But uh, I'm going to have that beef energized. And well, my fruit punch is brewing. I'm telling you, this Tuscan beef, Tuscan Raider, that's from the Tuscan Raiders. Tuscan Raider beef with cannelli beans, lentils, and vegetables, that is delicious. And it comes with three or four, I think four corn, four flour tortillas are really good. Some great punch, some pretty good cookies. This is a really good one, guys. If you want to try these MREs, this is a really good one. I finished. I finished the whole thing, didn't I? It's delicious. Okay, tell uh, them what happened. Well, he lost his wallet somewhere along the track, and it's five, six miles away. Eight miles. I think I took it out back there when I went. I took out my shorts back there when I went at Iron Fork. I think I've got to go all the way back to Iron Fork. I've been to Iron Fork and back, and now I've got to turn around and go again. I wish I could do something to help. I really do. Yeah, you'll never make with those cramps. Damn it, damn it, damn it, Jim. Well, I've lightened my load as much as I can. I'll just be walking all night, walking like a dog. All right. Well, I'll stay here. Nice meeting you, dude. No, I'll be, I'll be, be back till morning. I can so I've relocated my car. The sun's going down. And here I am, going back to the Narrows. Unbelievable. 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 That's another 16 mile trip in the same damn day. A little about past a mile back into the canyon. And I've got to go to the first place I'm going to check is at the five and a half mile marker. I stopped and went down and fished. And I took my shorts off and swam for a little bit might be there the second place i need to check is all the way up across from dave's stone shelter i stopped there for a little break and took everything out of my pockets put it i thought i put it in my pack but it's not there so couldn't have fallen out of my pack so maybe it fell out at that rock i'm just hoping i find it i have some credit cards in there i had 
nice chunk of cash and who knows what else my library card a few other things and looking up all that stuff to cancel it is gonna be a pain there's so few people to go back that far I think I might get lucky because I wasn't right in the main trail I always stop off the off the Warren Trail the beaten trail but I'm a long walk ahead of me at a minimum at a minimum I've gone almost eight miles in eight miles out so say 15 I've gone 15 and even if I just go to the bridge and back a little past the bridge say six miles six 12 15 27 mile day oh man and that's not on the PCT that's up and down canyons over rocks over rivers stopping and fishing I mean, that's I'm gonna be walking early into the morning I don't know what in my mind makes me believe I can do this other than sheer sheer des desperality desperate I've got to get there before other people get it in the morning and I can't really go home and sleep thinking about this no way I'm on a mission I'm at the second crossing I've got a minimum of six crossings just to get to the bridge and then after that I've got oh, three or four or so or five or six more to get up through the narrows oh, this sucks this really sucks. I'm gonna try to catch him. There's a little mountain lion. A little mountain lion. Let's see. He went straight up this. See if I can see his eyes. He ran straight up there. He's small. About the size of a dog. Still makes you uncomfortable though especially with him on the high ground i seen the eyes i turned on turbo and i could see him that's the first one i've been able to almost catch on camera first one i've seen really close up not just heard that's weird that's an uneasy, uneasy feeling, but he went up high. I gotta come back by here, but it probably won't be till morning. There he is! Oh man, I wish I had my other camera. He's way up there. You can see his eyes. He's way up there. Cool. Uh, a lot of millipedes on the ground. I'm right before the, let's see, fifth and sixth crossing. No. Uh, let me see, where am I? Right before the third and fourth crossing. In between Clark and Allison. It is 9.16. I started hiking this morning at 6. I've been hiking 15 hours and 16 minutes. And you're going to think, I, I go back and forth to the bridge uh, faster than that. Well, I wasn't hiking direct ways. I was exploring. I was fishing. I was swimming a little bit. And, uh, I went way beyond the bridge. I went almost, I was in between, I was above Iron Fork before Fish Fork. Just before a friend of mine, Derek's camp. So I was back there a good eight miles. So eight miles in, eight miles out. So far, almost five miles back in again. I think, find it or not, I'll be spending the night back here. I don't know if I'll have it in me to uh, hike back out. I do have some bacon, some spam and eggs I could make and get some power in me, but I may as well get some sleep too. I just hope I find it.
there's a light on the bridge. I don't think Ron's still back there. I don't think he's, he might be spending the night. Yeah, he may be spending the night. He won't believe he'll be seeing me again. He won't believe it. Anyway, I'll show you when I'm in there. There it is, five miles again. So we're looking at 16, we're looking at 21 miles so far. This sucks. But you wouldn't believe the uh, power of grace school that flows through your veins when your, your livelihood, your wallet is left behind. <laughs> No choice. But I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. I'm gonna check here. This place I swam, if it's not there, I'm gonna head up to the Narrows. Top of the Narrows, north end of the Narrows, up by Iron. And there's a spot there that I pulled some food out of my pack that I don't remember taking my wallet out of my pocket, but to tell you the truth, after I swam, I don't remember putting it back in. I think I put it in my pack, which means above the narrows when I pulled out that food, that's where it would be. That sucks. That's way up there. Another oh, three or four miles from here. 9.38. Bonanza. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, God. I swam right here. This is the first place I was gonna check. Thank you, God. I am just empowered with the prayer, with the uh, power of grace goal. I am so happy. I could make it out, but I don't know. Let me spend the night. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Dad. My dad. You know, I passed away. You know, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't have to go to the narrows. Oh, I'm at the beginning of the narrows now, but I don't have to go to the top of the narrows. I don't have to go to Iron Fork. Oh, god, now I can go right there. There's a cool beach I could camp on. Or I could go back here to Boy Scout camp, or I could just truck it out of here. But I'm thinking, I'm gonna go to sleep. Yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna go up here to this. This. I don't feel like crossing the river. I'm gonna go up here and camp it. Uh, it's still quite a ways though, another half a mile. Let me see. I can't believe, thank you God. Thank you God, look at that. It was right down there. Thank you God. Can't say that enough. Let me see. Praise. Oh man. Let's see, I can go up there. Or I can go to Boy Scout camp. Rolling back miles. I'm at four. Four miles to go. I'm going to go two more miles to Jay's camp. If they're still awake, I'm going to camp with those guys. Have breakfast at six in the morning and head out. But I left my frying pan and oil in the car because I didn't want to carry it. So if they are asleep, I'm just going to sit down there, I'm going to munch on my pack of Spam, I got the Spam single, munch on that, hydrate and shoot for the last two. So we will see. Getting later, getting later, oh, still dropping, down to three now. Which means Allison Gulch is right there. And another mile and I will reach my friend's camp and uh, the night might, the, the marathon may be over at that point. I'm starting to feel it in my left knee and uh, getting a little bit of shape caping. Woo, it's been a long ass day, six o'clock. 11 o'clock and I'm still hiking one more hour will be what's that 12, let's see. 12 to 12 will be 12 6 to 6 will be 12 and then 
18 freaking hour hike. Damn. So I ended up sleeping here. Stopped at Jay's camp, uh, Justin's camp. Hi, babe. The, the, uh, the, 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 the rest, short. SOS, Bibby, and 45 bag. It got cold last night. Uh, we'll go with some water, make some coffee, and I'm out of here. So for breakfast, I'm having this deep rich military coffee out of the MRE and uh, one of these instant oat things with my disposable stir and then I'm going to head on down the road I got a blister on each little toe uh, legendary wallet that I walked 20 miles for. <laughs> Like every time I look up there, there's a draw, something calling me. But I've been up there and I walked that whole thing, that whole ridge. I didn't find anything. I've been back in there. Just something telling me there's something there. I did find a cave today. Oh, but I found my wallet. You know, so happy. I, sometimes I think about life and think, you know, a lot of my friends they moved on, bigger and better. Um, new cities, new states, new jobs, and, and and I've stayed here, and but I've lived a pretty good life. I never expected to make it this long. It's why I didn't uh, jump up to a next level, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I never expected to make it this long. I, many times I, I look back on the places I've been and things I've done, and I'm seriously surprised I'm still alive. I don't know where it goes from here. It's getting harder and harder. So I'm back to heat and flats. I moved my truck up into position one yesterday. It is 9.13. So I'll do the math and figure out everything. But when I left, those guys were still asleep. I left them my eggs. I had no way of frying it. I left my fry pan in here when I came back. 